I distinctly remember the first time they got in touch. 9.30 on a Friday night back in June. I'd just got home from one of the hardest crit races of my life, getting dropped after 20 minutes despite a normalized power of over 400 watts. I was feeling pretty crap. But then my phone buzzed. It was an email. They had come across my channel and seen I had the new Vitesse and were wondering if I wanted to be part of a new campaign about real riders. Of course, the answer was yes. And one thing led to another and I ended up joining the Vitus family as a brand ambassador. But who is that family? Why do they ride Vitus? That's what I want to find out. In this series, I'm going to be traveling around and meeting up with other members of the Vitas family and they are going to be taking me on their favorite coffee ride. Today, I'm meeting up with fellow ambassador and one of the greatest professional cyclists of all time, Sean Kelly, and I'm going to be joining him on his rest day ride down in Bath, where he's commentating on this year's Giro for GCN and Eurosport. from Bath to Bristol, as they call it here, Bath. Yeah, it's nice to get the rest day, just mainly to get on your bike, because during the week, normal days, maybe you can get up in the morning for an hour, the even time for an hour, an hour and a half, so yeah, rest days. It's always welcome, not only with the riders, by us commentators. Depending on what month of the year, in April, I was down in Mallorca, so I was riding pretty much five days a week. In the winter time, when I'm not traveling much and there's no TV work, and I normally train three times a week. So I could do Sunday, 100 kilometers, 120 maybe max, Saturday, 60, 70, and then midweek, yeah, 70. I enjoy riding the bike, uh, you know, from the moment we're retired, I continue on riding, you know, three times a week. When you're a pro bike rider and you're riding and racing, training, pretty much every day during the season, of course you get, you know, a couple of days off here and there, but, so you feel the need to ride your bike and, you know, get out, because the body is so adjusted or tuned to that, it's what, what you feel best doing and feel, you know, you have that feel, that good feeling when you get out your bike. It's always in your blood, you know, the bike. You, it's something that you, yeah, you love doing, you love riding your bike. We're just talking just there about consistency, and obviously, you were famed for being very consistent especially in the uh, in Paris Nice seven wins in a row there's not really been someone since you that's kind of been so consistent why do you think that kind of is probably the time and the year I was in there it was pretty much the done thing yeah a lot of the riders did the classics and then after that they did you know at least one tour and more like two big grand tours so it all changed in the time of Indoran, Le Monde, where they started just focusing on the uh, on the tour, and of course they did not ride the other races in the early part of the season. Certainly, the classics they weren't really at their best for them. So I think that was the change of the of the race program, and then we see later on. You see Chris Froome, the way he just prepared for the tour. And at the other side, 
the guys doing the classics they probably you know focused more on the classics and didn't didn't have to do as many stage races so it's just a change of the program of races for the people with the, the likes of like Wout Van Aert and Matthew Van Der Poel and Tom Pitcock and stuff do you think do you think that's coming back now that that kind of people are being a bit more consistent in their kind of performances throughout the whole season rather than just yeah well I think it's changed probably a bit before that of uh, World Van Aert Van Der Poel if you look at you know some of the two riders like uh, Roglic Pogacar you know they win races at the beginning of the season now and they focus on like a Paris Nice, Torino, Adriatico. That was never an objective for the riders that were focusing to you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So it's it's changed a bit and when we had Bradley Wiggins he he was doing some of the early season races as well. So that's the change. You know, 10 years ago plus a little bit the way the programs were for the riders. Do you think your seven year winning record is, going, is in danger at all? No. <laughs> I think now it's so difficult to win a race, you know, seven times. Uh, with the way they race, the number of riders that are capable of winning. If you look at a power of sneeze now, except you know, it's you, you, a Pogacar or a Roglic of recent years. Um, it's so difficult to win a race many times. And I think yeah, seven times Paris Nice. It's going to be there for that record's going to stand for a long time.